Hello friends, welcome to Momentum Stocks. In today's video, we are going to talk about one stock for buy, one stock for sell for tomorrow's trading session that would be on 2nd of September, friends. Okay, we are also going to analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty. So, friends, in yesterday's video, I gave you LT for a buy okay and you see it started somewhere here it closed here made multiple ups, ups and downs here and finally closed somewhere here are we still bullish on the stock the answer is yes what do we see here we see a nice little inverted head and shoulder with a breakout a retest and a breakout here as well so the target which i gave you was here it is still valid friends okay so it gave a gap down anyone who would have bought it here and sold it here would have been definitely in profit there would be nothing wrong if we say that our target was achieved on this particular stock friends now coming to the sell stock for yesterday friends i gave it as hcl tech right in the opening target achieved okay made a upward momentum followed by a very good entry here it was a engulfing bearish engulfing once there was a doji candle here anyone who would have entered here would have definitely made very good profits friends we were bullish on nifty and bank nifty friends nifty gave a gap down okay followed by upward momentum okay didn't touch or close the gap came down again and closed somewhere here it has crossed the previous low friends bank nifty gap down followed by gap filling downward momentum they did not cross this area make a note of it and again upward momentum one thing common in both nifty and bank nifty is this friends okay and same thing here breakout is done already we are still positive on both the stocks important thing to note friends we are if we are looking for a sell position tomorrow at any resistances okay probably at this resistance or this resistance we'll do that in nifty why answer is simple it has already given us a breakdown below this particular area and then it has gone up if you look at bank nifty it has not done that that is the reason if you are buying buy bank nifty and if you are looking for a short side position go for nifty friends another important friend thing friends when i am saying sell nifty buy bank nifty that doesn't mean that you will blindly sell nifty and blindly buy bank nifty now nifty and bank nifty are good friends they will go together most of the times there are occasions where there then they don't go together that's a different story but now when i'm saying we should be selling nifty what does that mean is when you see a downward kind of some kind of elegant thing like this okay from where it is go, it might fall that's when you will do a shot on nifty and if you see some kind of engulfing like this here that's when you will buy bank nifty at perfect levels okay that doesn't mean that you will sell nifty and buy bank nifty on the whole we are bullish on both the stocks already there is a good breakout given here and even in bank nifty friends both the stocks are prepared to go upwards okay i hope you understood what i'm trying to say that by buy bank nifty and sell nifty friends okay now coming to one hour analysis friends this is one thing which i wanted to give you see in yesterday's video i was going to explain this but somehow it missed so let me put it in this video see friends this particular breakout is done followed by retest once and retest twice this retest that we are talking about the first retest that i am talking about is not actually a retest this downward momentum happened due to global weakness friends it is not 
due to R weakness. Okay. Same is the case with Nifty. Okay. And another thing, friends, look at this particular pattern here. This is a clear double bottom pattern. The speed in which it went down here, okay, this speed is exactly the same here, friends. Okay, so this kind of rally happens when such patterns are ready to be formed, friends. Hope you understood the logic behind yesterday's rally as well. Because it was a symmetric pattern, I, okay, most of you should understand symmetric pattern, nothing very difficult in that. But because it's a symmetric pattern that wanted that has to form, that is the reason we saw a very good rally like this yesterday. Something similar to this rally on the other day. And there was a double bottom followed by a breakout and retest. Okay. Now, this is something that not most of the people tell. Okay. They will say just buy Nifty. But in my channel, I give you the insights as to why. I am telling you to buy. It is not just earning money, friends. It's important to know why things are happening and why we are making money with that. Okay. Hope you understood the logic behind that. See, friends, this entire day I told you that uh, it would be sideways, friends. Okay. If you remember, go and check that video. I'll put it in the end screen. I told you that Nifty and Bank Nifty will be sideways on this day. Okay, I'll put this video in the end call, uh, in the end screen. Why did I tell you that? That's because, look at this, this was a sideways momentum. Something similar, similar is what we expected here. And that is the reason I told you that. Okay, now it went up, followed by this particular double bottom pattern. Coming to our buy stock friends. For buy, I'm going to give you M and M today. The reason is simple. Look at this beautiful breakout. Okay, this is a beautiful breakout followed by a retest. A retest again. Okay, and upward momentum. If I draw a trend line like this, the breakout is already done and it is ready to shoot upwards, friends. That is the reason I am giving you M and M for a buy. Now Another reason, simple, I taught you what is FIBO, from top, from bottom to top, we have touched this particular level, which is one of the very good bullish level from where we have turned upwards with a breakout. So, there are three reasons that I am giving you to buy m, &M. First reason, clear breakout friends and a retest. Second reason, it closed above this particular levels friends. The third reason we have our support of FIBO. Okay, with these three reasons, I am giving you buy for M and M. Coming to sell stock, friends. Sell stock is TCS, friends. Now, why do I say TCS as tell? Reason is simple. Look at this wonderful rally. This was the rally when everything went up, friends. Okay, all 50 stocks were outperforming. I showed you that in the video as well. It touched this or closed this gap. And next day it fell down, friends. Now, entire day it was down. Now, Nifty covered 50 or 60 percent of the gap. Okay, but TCS did not do that. Okay, it continuously kept on falling and it did not even attempt to go up, friends. That is the reason it is coming in our cell radar. Second reason, look at this. What is this? This is a breakdown. Okay, clear breakdown followed by a retest. Now, after this breakdown, we are retesting here to fall again. This is the reason that I am giving you TCS for a sell. Now, reason number three, our best friend. Who is our best friend? Fibo. Top to bottom. Where are we? We are at the first level of retracement, friends. Okay. So, we are at the resistance here. What is resistance? Why is it a resistance? Anytime when a stock breaks a trend line. Okay. Make a note of this, friends. Remember this. 
this is going to help you in your future trading okay i'm giving you some basics here whenever a stock breaks a trend line okay this was a support line before now the same trend line will act as a resistance line here okay this is a simple concept of support and resistance that i'm trying to put it in a very easy method for everyone to understand and implement in their future future trades friends hope you understood the logic to sell in tcs hope you understood the logic and buy in m and m nifty and bank nifty i'm sure you should have understood and see you in the next video friends thanks for watching wish you a profitable friday tomorrow